welcome back to my channel. So for those of you new here, hi, my name is Imana and y'all already know what time of the month it is. I got some goodies. I want to show it to you. Maybe a little bit of like a chit chat. As I always say, nothing's really changed. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm very much on Instagram and TikTok still. So let's just go on ahead and hop right into the video so I can show you these bags. I'm actually like very, very excited to show you these because I don't know, in my opinion, they're like really cute. Two are like more casual vibes and then one, mm, I'm using it for my birthday and I'm so excited. So let's just go on ahead and hop right into it. So the first thing that I actually wanna talk about are some earrings. So I know that a lot of you babes have probably seen like the Bottega dupe earrings on Amazon. I have also gotten a pair of those. So the ones that I have are the gold ones. So these are the ones that I got from Amazon. But then I actually got the replica Bottega ones. And these are the replicas. But honestly, I didn't really think you'd be able to tell a difference, but you can. So the differences that I can tell is these are heavier. The dupes are not heavy at all. They're very lightweight, but these are definitely heavier. There's also a difference in the sound. I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell a difference in the sound. This has more of a louder sound. This one... Not so much. I haven't worn these, so I can't tell you about like the wear and tear of them, but I have worn the ones from Amazon. And while they are very cute, I do see myself probably having to get a new pair of these simply because I wear them very often. They're around my hair. Like when my hair is out, there's a lot of oil and stuff that gets on them. But these, I may have to do like a three month update on them. Um, and let you guys know how they wear. But I mean, I personally really like the earrings, which is why I wanted to get them in silver. Those are the earrings. I can't wait to just kind of like test them out. And like I said, I will give like a three month update. Okay, so now hopping into the most exciting part of this video, which is the bags. So the first inspired bag that I have is another Pochette Matisse. Now, if you have been here for a while, you know that I actually really, really love the Pochette Matisse. Um, the Pochette Matisse Inspired Bag was my first Inspired Bag ever about three years ago or so. Um, but this one I really wanted to try out. I really like the color. I really love the material of it. And I also had gotten some sneakers at SneakerCon um, that I feel like will go perfectly with this bag. So I'll be doing some reels to show like how I'm going to casually style this for the fall. Um, so if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram. And then I'm also going to insert kind of like the unboxing so that you can kind of see what that looks like. But I'm actually very, very excited. And for those of you who are going to ask, there are seven holes in the strap so it is adjustable um the back of the bag the zipper works perfectly it doesn't snap or snag or anything like that and then i showed you guys the three different compartments on the inside but i'm super excited to style this i definitely do think that this will be like a fall fave of mine so this is the first bag and then the second bag, I think I was just like casually, you know, perusing on Instagram. And then I saw this one and I was like, oh my gosh, she's tiny, but is she not cute? So this is one of the Christian Dior bags that I got. Um, I think she's really, really pretty. I'll put the unboxing right here. Now, the only thing that I will say about this bag is... I don't really know like how this is going to work when I'm out in public because as you can see, this is kind of how it opens up. It does have this on the side to kind of protect your stuff from spilling out. You can't really fit like a wallet in here or anything, but it does have a little card holder for maybe like two debit cards or something. This is definitely giving, I'm running a quick errand, but I want to look like I have myself together, but I didn't try too hard. And I also think that they have this in black. I don't know if I'll get it in black, but I really like this color. I thought it was really, really pretty. Um, I will definitely have to give an update on just 
kind of like how this is carrying this out in public running errands and things like that um but i do think that she's really really cute i think that if you're the type of person that's like you know i'm running errands for the weekend and you know that you're gonna have a lot of shopping bags with you or maybe if you're going to the grocery store and you don't have a wagon yet and you don't want your bag to be so much in the way this will probably be a really good option again i really do love <laughs> Again, I really do love the color. The only thing that I hesitate about with this color is if you're going to wear it with blue jeans. Sometimes when you're wearing blue jeans, um, the blue will rub off on your bag and then it will transfer. Personally, I hate that. So I could see myself maybe like wearing this with um, sweats or something that's also like a light color or maybe like a dress or a jumper, but probably not like a really dark denim just because I don't want the color to transfer. But this is the second bag and I think she's really, really cute. And so now this third one, when I tell you I was searching high and low for a red and silver bag, I needed red and silver and there are so many bags that have like gold as the accent color, but I wasn't looking for gold. I was looking for silver. And this one, the Lady Dior, she came in clutch. Like, look at how stunning. It's giving candy apple vibes almost. But she's really pretty. I'm going to put the unboxing right here. This also came with two straps. So this is one strap. And I kind of like that it came with two straps because it's like, okay, I can be a little extra or, you know, take this bag on like a night out. But then it also just has like a red strap where if you want something a little bit more casual, then you can definitely just kind of put the red strap on there. The inside is pretty small, yes, but it is a little bit of like a velvet on the inside, which I think is really cute. And it does have a zipper pocket. The realisticness of me using the zipper pocket inside of this bag, highly unlikely. Um, but I do think she's really cute. So y'all know me. I love a good like versatility. So it can definitely be carried as like a top handle, a shoulder bag, a crossbody bag. And then like I said, the versatility with the other strap. But I think she is so stinking cute. So I'm definitely feeling like fall and winter she can be carried in. Um, but I really, really, really love this color. It's it's giving everything that I needed to give. So those are the three bags that I have. Like I said, if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram so that you can actually see like how I'm going to style these bags. But I can't wait. I personally think that the bag that I'm going to get the most usage out of this season is probably going to be the Pochette Matisse. And of course the earrings. I know for the red bag, I'm gonna carry that one for my birthday. And then I feel like if I go to like, maybe like a holiday party or something like that, um, I'll carry it there. I think that we have all come off of the high of like getting super duper dressed up for Thanksgiving and like having a bag for Thanksgiving. I'm going to be in sweatpants on Thanksgiving. Probably I'm not gonna be carrying that bag, but I do think that for just like, you know, maybe if I go out with some friends, you know, when I go home for Thanksgiving, then that could definitely be like a really cute bag that I carry. So now for a little bit of the tea or kind of like the update for the babes that stick around to the end of this video. Let's see. It's been like a month. Um, oh, I went to homecoming. So I went to my school's homecoming. That was fun. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I went to Winston-Salem State University. They had their homecoming. Um, I want to say it was like mid-October. So I went to that, got to catch up with like, you know, a few friends. Most of the people that I saw or spent time with are people that I speak with on a regular basis. But it was nice to just kind of like see them in person, give them a really big hug, take a lot of pictures. So that was a lot of fun. I want to say that's probably like been the biggest highlight. Other than that, I've still been reading a ton of books. Um, I want to say I've read seven books this month or so. Uh, but that's been a lot of fun and I'm literally staring at like 17 books that I have on my TBR. The fact that I have just been going out and buying so many books right now is just crazy. But I have been reading quite a few books within the month so I can kind of justify that that spend. Um, I want to say maybe like my favorite book that I've read this month was called Look Closer by David Ellis. Um, that was a really good book and I've also read a couple of others. And what else? I've been like teetering on the edge on if I wanted to really start like a book talk or something. I don't know. I feel like I have so much fun with just like reading and I wouldn't really say that I'm a mood reader, at least not right now. I just kind of like read in substitution for TV. So I'm always reading a book. I'll say that there's some times where I may go like a week 
without reading a book just to, you know, spend time with friends and not feel like I need to be so caged up in my room or whatever. But reading has definitely still been a huge, huge priority of mine. As you can see, my hair is braided. I'm still practicing um, on braiding my hair and just getting more comfortable with it. I think that I, I really like this set of braids that I've done. It's just one, um, kind of like stitch braid or straight back braids or whatever. Um, so I did those and I, I really like how they came out. So that's been something that I've been doing still, you know, practicing on my hair because practice makes, you know, progress. Um, what else? I think that's it. I feel like I've been kind of doing like a little bit of a series on my TikTok that's called Things I'm Learning in My 20s. So it's just kind of like if you're wanting to get into my head a little bit more, um, TikTok is where I do it at. I feel like on Instagram, I'm really there just for kind of like, you know, showing off the outfits and, you know, book reviews and motivations and stuff. And I feel like TikTok is kind of like my comfort app where I can go. I don't always have makeup on. And sometimes like the videos are not like super aesthetically pleasing or whatever. It's really just like the realisticness of my life and I feel like TikTok is also in a way kind of like that safe haven app where you don't have to feel like you're so like dressed up or suited up or whatever the case may be. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing, but I hope that all of you babes have been doing well. I hope that this year has been treating you well. Um, we're about to get into the fourth quarter, or at least I am at work. So wrapping up the fiscal year, the holidays are coming. So I feel like, you know, after October 31st, everything is just a blur up until March because you have, um, Thanksgiving, you have Christmas, you have New Year's, you have Valentine's Day. And then you have like a little bit of a break in March. And then what by like March, April, it's spring all over again. So I don't know, but I hope that you all are doing well. If you do have any other questions, definitely send me a DM on Instagram. But other than that, babes, I will see you babes in the next one. Bye.